Hey everyone, this is Stanford. I'm back to do another little section of our Bob Ross celebrity portrait. So I'll go ahead and uh, put some blocking squares on these guys. So I'm only focusing on the area I want to draw. We'll go ahead and do his nose today or this section here. So I'll put that there and then get this lined up. And we'll block out this one. Make sure you got it in the right section. All right. And we can begin drawing. So I'm gonna kind of gauge down how far his nose starts and it's from there to there. So about three quarters of the way down when that line comes in. So I'll just kind of do light sketches on, or light contour lines on these areas here just to figure out where I'm gonna put all the shading. There's a line coming down like so, for that side of his nose, about like that. I'll put in the shape of his mustache is here. Kinda of hard to tell where that goes, maybe to there. And then I know that there's a dark line here, a little higher probably. This probably looks more like it's in the middle of the paper. So I'll do that a little higher, about like that. So just get your contour line sketched in there. Work them until you feel like they're fairly accurate. Draw the outlines of the shapes. And then down here we can see the tops of his teeth. So that will be a little bit challenging. I think I got that okay. All right, that's about it for details and lines. Let's kind of draw this edge of his nose down here. This is where the main shadow is. And then maybe there's a line there where that shadow kind of goes to. So this side's all gonna be darker and this side will be all lighter. All right, let's kind of do that a little bit more. And we'll just basically draw in some lines a little darker. Something like that for now. And what I'll do is I'll just shade in this section all with two layers of shading. And then I'll smudge the whole area. I know all this stuff is gonna be shaded. I'll leave the teeth unshaded and then I'll just smudge them for a light value. All right, there's one layer. I'm gonna get another layer on there. That'll even out my scribble lines. And now I'm gonna smudge the whole thing. So now I have the shaded side and the direct light side. 
All right, any lines I lost, I'm gonna darken, so I'm gonna shade that in dark. There's one side of his nostril. This isn't really shaded right here, so I'm just gonna make this line kind of a little more prominent. And then for the texture on his mustache, we're just gonna kind of draw in lines that mimic the angles they're at. And it's a little darker right there than over here, so. A little bit of shading right under here. Might have overdid it. Let me uh, zoom in a bit for you guys. It's not letting me zoom in. Okay, can't zoom in. You're gonna have to leave it as is. Um, it's hard to think and draw at the same time. Talk and draw. So this is a little darker here. So I'm just gonna kind of bump that up a little bit. I might have overdid that a bit. So if you screw up, you can always erase back into it and smudge and then look, it's all healed up now. Looks like it's darker here. You just need to find those subtle differences and make them stand out. I don't really want an edge or a line there, so I'm gonna erase that and smudge it back together. A little bit of shading on there. And some shading under here. And then we have more marks to create that look of that mustache. Not really sure where that ends. I'll have to kind of figure that out. Use my imagination later on. Okay. And now we've got uh, basically around the teeth, the gums area. I'm gonna kind of just go a little darker on those so the teeth stand out a bit more. And I might be uh, altering these a little bit later on as well. Okay, that's what I have so far, so let's do a little bit of highlight right here. That's that tip of the nose on that side. And then there's a bit of a highlight there. And then up in here. Okay, let's take that off and see how we're looking. Hopefully I put it in the right spot. And there it is. So it's not too bad. I'll have to kind of join up in here. Um, just kind of even this out, maybe darken it a little bit. Might be a little on the light side. Just blend it up into there. And then you can see that shadow came down from his eye there. And you can smudge. Might, might have gotten a tad dark right here. Erase, smudge it back together. And later on when you get all done, you can just go in and darken areas that need more contrast, things that maybe have disappeared when you shaded. So it's as simple as just drawing one square at a time, doing your contour line work, and then adding the value that resembles what you have in your photograph. I'll continue more and uh, send you guys another video. Thanks for watching.